Hello everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be discussing Gabrielle by the House of Chanel. I gotta say you guys, I've been on quite a journey with this perfume here. When I first tried it, when it was first released, I was very unimpressed by it. I just thought it was boring. There was nothing special about it. It was just something that I uh, just wasn't very interested in. At the same time though, I have gone through like three or four samples of it <laughs> at the time and um, I'm not really sure why I did that. Usually when I find something to be, you know, not my taste, I would just move on. Um, but with this one in particular, I just kept on sampling it and sampling it over and over again. I still came up with the conclusion that it wasn't for me and that's fine, but then I always wondered to myself, why am I going back to it all the time? Why am I wanting to test it? Why am I wanting to smell this? <laughs> okay, so fast forward a few years later and my opinion about Gabrielle Chanel has completely changed, you guys. I have done a complete 180 and I just thought that was um, an interesting thing that doesn't happen very often where, um, you know, you absolutely do not like a fur perfume at first and then afterwards you actually really enjoy it. <laughs> well, it does happen, but not that, not too often, at least for me. Um, but yeah, let's get into what this smells like. Gabrielle Chanel, in the opening to me, I get a clean, slightly sour, musky scent. I do get a hint of aldehydes in here, although um, there aren't any aldehydes listed in the notes. But apart from all of that, what I get mostly in the opening is a fizzy and sharp and sparkling citrus scent. To my nose, it's mostly a, a very bright grapefruit, um, which I really enjoy. The opening is very nice. To me, actually, in the opening, I'm reminded of Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, but if you can picture Coco Mademoiselle without the patchouli and then amp up the citrusy notes. That's what I kind of get in here. So it kind of reminds me of like a more grown up version of Coco Mademoiselle. All right, so as this fragrance dries, in the mid, what I get is this perfume smells a lot sweeter on my skin. Some fruitiness comes out um, that gives a sweetness, but also uh, the florals in here also emerge. Uh, the florals in here are jasmine, orange blossom, ylang ylang, and tuberose. The flower scent and the fruity sweetness is all tamed down by a musk, a very clean and soft and um, airy musk. The dry down of this perfume, what I get still, I still get that soft musk. Um, but also some faint sweetness still coming from the fruit and also a creaminess that's also faint coming from um, a woodiness, a sandalwood. And of course, I still smell the beautiful florals in here, but the most prominent floral to me is the orange blossom. So yeah, that's basically what I get from Gabrielle Chanel. Is this an exciting perfume? I would say no, it's not. Um, actually, many people say that it's quite boring. And when I first tried this perfume, I agreed that it was, wasn't was very exciting. Um, but I do think that it's a very easy, easy perfume to wear, like a grab and go perfume to wear every day at the office, for example. It's pleasant, it's fresh, it's fruity, but not too fruity. It's floral, but also not too floral, not too sweet. It's just everything is tamed down by the musk. And back then I wasn't like a huge musky perfume fan. But nowadays I'm starting to warm up to um, musky perfumes. And I think that's why I'm liking this more and more. It does give off a nice classy and elegant vibe. It's inoffensive, it's very wearable, and just the freshness in Gabrielle Chanel just, for me, makes it an, an easy perfume to pull off every day. Yes, it would make a fantastic signature scent, 
Um, it's light, it's bubbly, it's happy, it's fresh. It's like all the things that I would like in a signature scent, something easy to wear and something just pleasant for you and probably, hopefully, for the people around you. Downsides for Gabrielle Chanel. Well, I think performance might be an issue for some people. For me, I get about half an hour of projection with this one and then close to the skin um, for about five to six hours. That might not be enough for some people that it's too soft. Um, but for me, like say in the workplace, I wouldn't mind just having something for myself, you know, it's something inoffensive, something that won't bother people too much. It would last for most of your work day. And um, I'm not really that kind of person that wants to be uh, in a place where I'm just constantly like projecting of perfume all day every day <laughs> and maybe annoying some people. Um, upsides of this perfume, well there's no patchouli in here, I don't get any patchouli so that's good. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with patchouli but uh, patchouli is the reason, well one of the reasons why I don't really enjoy the Coco Mademoiselle and Coromandel. Um, also there's no oak moss in here which again there's nothing wrong with oak moss um, but wearing oak moss every single day might for me I don't know if I could do that. So those were my thoughts on Gabrielle Chanel. I would love to hear what you guys think about this perfume here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.